for the Grizzlies uh, on Saturday. Uh, your final thoughts on that game. Then uh, Montana hits the road again, headed down to UC Davis. Your thoughts on the Aggies? Great. Thanks, Tabes. And thank you for all your hard work around here. And you do a lot of work behind the scenes here, man. Appreciate you. Um, well, we're excited to get to 4 and 1, and, and obviously it was a good win for us on Saturday. Um, it's a fun game. And, you know, I uh, personally enjoyed homecoming. Got to see a bunch of old friends, and it was great. So, um, Good to be 1-0 on the weekend and get ourselves into this week against Davis. So moving forth on them, uh, you know, we're going down there to play. Uh, Davis is a very good, talented football team. They uh, play good defense. They have good players at every level. Um, Connors, Eaton, Tattersall, they, they make a lot of plays. Uh, <laughs> Offensively, they're very diverse. They're multiple. Um, we expect them to be up tempo. It's going to be 90 degrees, so that'll that's an issue. Um, they're always good in the kicking game, and that's uh, as usual this year. They're good, so uh, they're really a complete football team, and, and it'll be a tall test for us to try to go down there and get a win. Questions. Bobby, I wanted to ask you about Jackson Lee. It led you guys in solo tackles this past game and had a big stop on a third and one for no gain and ended up forcing a punt. Just how do you feel he's playing this year and where have you maybe seen him take some steps forward? Yeah, Jackson had a nice game Saturday. Um, he's playing better, so he's got to play more. Uh, and I think that's been great. Uh, anytime we have uh, more players that can to make plays, especially in space, like the play you talked about, Frank. Um, you know, that's productive for our team. So good for Jackson, good for the team. You guys are leading the conference in fewest rushing yards allowed, but maybe more telling is fewest rushing yards per carry. Um, why have you guys had success stopping the run so far? Well, I think it starts with, with we're a really good tackling team. I think we tackle well. That doesn't mean we haven't missed a tackle. tackles very well, um, physical, we're tuned into it, and that's where we want to start on, uh, on defense and stopping the run. Tyler, in past years, you guys have done a good job stopping the run too, but with, with this year's group, why why is this year's group um, embracing that so well? I think it's pretty similar every year. You know, Our D-line does such a good job beating up those double teams, and they free up the space for us to come in and fill the hole. So I think it's just mainly our D-line doing that, and that's the only reason we make tackles and make plays. And Bobby, with the wide receivers, everyone sees their <coughs> receiving numbers, but it seems like they're making a lot of blocks on, on some of the big runs you guys have. So how important is the receivers blocking to you guys having success in the run game? Well, I can, I can let Key answer that. He knows the answer. I mean, it's, it's, uh, we're a balanced offense. Uh, that's when we're most effective. Work hard in the run game, or you don't play in the pass game. So you have to you have to play both sides of that coin, and, and uh, you know everybody on the team needs to embrace the run game. And then for you, Keelan, just for you individually, and just the wide receivers as a whole, why is that uh, blocking and as receivers um, something you guys take pride in? Yeah, you know um, you can't make touchdown blocks, you can't score touchdowns in the run game. So getting that last guy who has the angle or um, just making key blocks in the box to break those running backs free is very important. Bobby, you mentioned UC Davis being really multiple uh, offensively. In the past, they've run a lot of different stuff with their tight ends and the way that they pre-snap pre use their tight ends. Is, is that similar this year? Yeah, they've, they've got a lot of pre-snap movement, different formations. You know, it's, it's not a lot of different pers personnel groups, but it's a lot of different. Preparing for that, I mean, what are the challenges of that when they do show you so many pictures? Well, I, you know, it's not totally uncommon. Um, people are, there's a lot of motion and shifting going on in college football in this day and age. Very, actually, very few people line up and just play where they start. Um, but it's something we struggled with two weeks ago. Didn't handle it very well and, and got out of sorts. 
gave up some plays, so it's got to be a point of focus for us. And, and Ty, from your mind, I mean, what is it like preparing for a team that does show you a whole bunch of stuff pre-snap? I think our coaches do a great job reminding us that we just have to do our 111th every play. Um, if you do that and get line right, it'll uh, it'll go your way. But you have to make sure you do your 111th, and they do a great job uh, getting us ready to do that. Coach, you mentioned that part, just playing assignment football and then you know doing your 111th, especially defensively. You said you thought you did a better job of it on Saturday. Did you see that when you watched the, the film back? Yeah, I thought it was vastly better in terms of you know not, guys not getting out of sorts and, and busting, trying to do too much, not doing their job. So, yeah, it, it was good. Um, obviously, there's always room to improve and we'll work on that. Uh, Miles Hastings, UC Davis's quarterback, I and mean, he was the first team all conference quarterback a year ago. What, what do you think made him that, and, and what have you seen on, on film from him this year? He's, he's consistent. You know, I, I, think, I think the best thing he does is he knows what he's doing, and he's a consistent football player. And, you know, it's the wild ups and downs. You know, it's not, a, it's not a guy that can make a great play somewhere, it's a guy that can consistently move the ball and help the team uh, be productive. And that's, I think that's his best feature. Going from uh, you know Hawkins to a Hawkins, maybe a little unique in, in back-to-back weeks. Um, you know, I know coaches, you know, will talk about you know common opponents and stuff. Is there something in those conversations that can be gleaned from something that's not on film that you need to be kind of worried about, whether it's I don't know signals or anything like that? Well, <laughs> yeah, when you see people in person, you know, we haven't played Davis since 2019, so it's it's got like a non-conference feel to it. It's like a team you've never played before. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure they spent a couple hours on the phone on, on Sunday. That'd be a question for them. Ask them, you know what he said. All right.